Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine and a Tech Help Show, and in today's Learn Gmail video, I'm going to show you guys how to create spam filters properly, and uh, that way you don't get all the headaches associated with the Gmail spam filters. A lot of people don't know this area of Gmail. It's actually kind of the most complicated part, which is pretty sad. Now, to get started, let's open up your Gmail and check out what they have here. What they have basically for your inbox is you can select an item on the left hand side you can check it off and then you can mark the item as spam now over time gmail eventually learns what is spam and what isn't spam so that's the first part getting things to go into your spam box is just a matter of training it over time now the gmail spam filter is already incredibly good at this so there's probably few emails that you get that are spam uh, and if you do get them, all you need to do is check them and say mark spam and eventually uh, Google will figure out what exactly you're marking as spam. might take a few times, but uh, it, it will figure it out. Now, the more important part is getting things that are accidentally sent to your spam to stop going there. And uh, this is a little more complicated than it should be, but if on the left-hand side I select spam, I can check off one of these items, say this first item. Let's say I keep this keeps going to my spam box. Now, I can say not spam, but Gmail will not create a filter to not send that to spam. It's actually kind of one of the, one of the most annoying things about the Gmail email spam filters. If I want to make sure that an email from this Luis Fabiano, who obviously this is spam, uh, if I want to make sure none of those go to spam, I need to go to the more section here in the upper right hand corner, the top middle, and select it and select this little filter messages like these. And at this point, uh, it lets you enter different criteria. For this particular filter, I just want to make sure that emails I get from that guy's email address uh, will not be sent to spam. So I'm not going to put anything in the to, the subject, that has the words or doesn't have. And then I'm going to say create filter with this search. Okay, and then they have this nice little category that says never send it to spam. At that point, you just select create filter and you're done. Pretty much any email you get from that point on will never go to the spam box. You'll have to manually send it to spam yourself. Now, if for any reason you created a filter on accident that you weren't happy with, you can go to the cog in the upper right hand corner here and select the settings and then select settings again. And then when you're here, you have this nice little filters tab up here at the top and select that. And if I scroll all the way down at the bottom, it shows the most recent one that was added. Now, I added this one for a previous video I was working on. So on the right-hand side here, as you can see, I can actually delete that filter. Now, another cool trick you can do with these filters is instead of checking off an item in your spam box like I did with this one, let's say you uh, have a company sending you emails and there's a whole bunch of people in that company and they all have like the at PC Michiana address. Now what you can do is you can actually do a search for say asterisk which is like a placeholder at pcmichiana.com and this will actually search all of your emails for any email that was received with that particular search criteria. Now the trick here, one of the tricks you can do and it's pretty cool is you can click this drop down after doing the search. Okay. And instead of doing the has the words, what we'll do is we're going to switch that. Because this means basically if anywhere in the email it shows that an email address at PC Michiana, give me that search result. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I'm going to put it in from and click paste. And we'll search again. And basically all of these emails now are from, see this little, it automatically did this, from colon asterisk at pcmichiana.com. So it could be Craig at PC Michiana, it could be Joe at PC Michiana, it could be Frank, Billy, Bob, contact support, doesn't matter. So you can click the drop down for any search results you do and you can actually create a filter like that as well. So you don't have to check off emails. You can literally create your own custom filters and you can even apply a label to them so you can create your own custom labels and uh, all kinds of really cool stuff. Now this is actually how I managed our uh, Skyrim entry. So what I can do is on the you know my Skyrim giveaway, what I can do here now is I have this YouTube filter that shows me everything that I get from YouTube and then I have a Skyrim contest entries. And what this looks at actually is that the enter me was entered into the title of the message. And so I can actually keep track of all the entries that I received directly uh, through this filter that I created. So that's all there is to this video. Uh, the search and filter system is really powerful once you've sat down and kind of gotten the hang of it and you've learned to use it. 
This is a great tool for those of you who are trying to get things to stop going to your spam box or just trying to organize all of your incoming emails because you can just create labels that are automatically attached to particular email addresses that they come in on or particular topics, whatever you might think. But that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned. i got plenty more videos to come.